Yeah. Hey, it's me, Belly. Hi, busy? Ah, uh, yeah. This isn't such a good time. Even though I brought you something? Trisha, dear, how are you? Oh, Nana, I don't know. Tired, I guess. Trucker came by last night. Oh? We argued. <laughs> Big surprise. But he said some things that make a lot of sense. Really? I miss him. Well, of course you do, darling. That's only natural. But that kind of loneliness is just temporary. I mean... Don't let that drive you back into a dreary marriage. What would you really like to do today? Work. I'm editing the catalog for Grandfather's collection. You certainly are not. Why don't you come to lunch and we'll go to the theater? Come play with me. Nana, you're so sweet. I'm just not really up to that. Oh. I won't go running back to Trucker, so you can stop worrying. I'm your grandmother, so I'm supposed to worry about you. But, darling, do get some rest. And if there's anything you need, call me. I will. Love you. Me too. Oh. Well, I see that you enjoyed your tour. Oh, well, this is fantastic, Mrs. Alton. <laughs> there's tea set out in the sitting room. Help yourselves, please. Oh, thank you. All right. It's just that this way. Okay. Bethel? Yes. Uh, can I see you for a moment? Oh, certainly. Okay, go through the archway, take a left, and it's your first left. Go ahead. You know, map this place. <laughs> I want you to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Would you take Matthew and his pretty little friend and drive out to the tides? <laughs> I want to send Trisha out some of her things. Oh, certainly, Mrs. Alden. I think she's lonely. Oh. I think, I think she could do with some company. Might help her get her mind off her difficulties. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Mackenzie, I I'm Bethel Ford. I work for your grandmother and Stacy Forbes. Oh, right, you're their social secretary. Yeah, uh, Stacy mentioned you. Please come in. Thank you. <laughs> what has my grandmother done? Well, she asked us to bring some of your things over to you. Oh, this is my son, Matthew. Uh, Matt. Hello. Hey, nice How do you do? You. Nice to meet you. And this is Allie Rescott. Allison, you're, you're Kate's granddaughter? Yeah. Oh, Hi. it's so nice to meet you. Oh, I know about you because Kate is a good friend of mine. I, I love her, and, and I've really been wanting to meet you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where would you like us to put these? Oh, just, just put them down. No, no way. We're going to put them wherever you want. Upstairs? That, that would be great. All right. My room is the first one to the right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. That's so sweet of him. Please, come in. You know, Kate has told me a lot about you. Are you a student at Alden University? Um, no, I work at the pie shop. I'm auditing a class at the university, though. It's called Women, Health, and Technology. Jeez. <laughs> oh, it sounds impressive, but it's pretty, it's pretty down to earth. We talk about things like childbirth and stuff. Hmm. I've been studying that subject myself. <gasps> Are you and your husband going to do Lamas? We haven't decided. Oh. May I get you something to drink? Oh, no. No, thank you. Wow, this place is amazing. I mean, the water and the mist, it's so exotic. I love it. I mean, I know it's a little remote, but, well, I'm a country person at heart. So is my dad. He loves camping. Where do your parents live? Oh, apart. They split up. For good. Um, I'm sorry. My parents are divorced, too. I know how hard it is. Well, it'd be a lot easier if I had brothers and sisters to talk to, because then I'd feel like I still had a family. I hate divorce. Me too. I guess it is harder on an only child. Well, I know my parents love me, and, and they don't want me to be upset. But that's crazy, because now everything's changed, you know? I mean, that's why I'm living with Grandma Louie. But I shouldn't be going on like this. No, you know, it, it's something that I think about a lot in terms of what my baby is going to need from me and from my husband. 
Well, all I know is that I'm not going to get married until I know I'm in love and it's going to last forever. Because I could never put my kids through a divorce. You sound a lot like me when I was your age. Would you apologize for me and ask Mrs. Ford and, and Matt to please enjoy the house and, and, and just make yourselves feel at home? I really have to see my husband. There. That'll keep you warm at night. Do you like it? Yeah, you really shouldn't have done that, you know. I mean, thanks, but... Well, it's 100% wool, so whatever you do, don't wash it, okay? Right. Oh, before I forget, uh, I wrote down my new phone number for you. Damn, these bindings are shot. It's, uh, it's the same number as the bowling alley. I, I go from the university housing back to the apartment over it. I figured it'd be cheaper to get an extension. Am I bothering you? Uh, no, no. So who's mine in the bowling alley? Ted. You wish I didn't come here. Did I say that? Yes. About 50 different ways. I, I just don't understand you. I mean, you were so sweet this morning. So wonderful to me, and now you're acting like you could care less. Listen, the, the blank is great. Thank you. But let's make that the end of it, okay? Let's not get in any deeper. Look! You paid part of my electric bill. I bought you a blanket to say thank you. I helped you out of a business jam. That, the blanket is more like a personal gift. There's a difference. Oh. Oh, okay. So, so when you kiss me, help me here. I'm confused. Was that business or personal? When we made love here, what was that? Well, you cut it out. You see, it seems like you keep changing the rules of me every time I turn around. I'm, I'm just trying to get them straight. So I am married. Does, does that straighten everything out for you? <sighs> married? Where's your wife? Look, the point is you can't, you can't be here. Chucker, aren't you ever going to get tired of trashing everything you care about? God, will you knock it off? No, look, Darling. you quit your job, you left your home, you moved in this cabin, which you then proceeded to tear apart. Now you're dumping me? Look, if that makes you happy, fine. Okay, go for it. But if it doesn't, you better get on with your life. Hi, it's, um, it's me. I'm calling to apologize. I'm sorry about sending mixed signals. It's not fair. And also, I, I needed the blanket, and it's nice, so thanks. And you're nice, too, Dinah Lee. I, I like being with you. I... And anyway, um, also, don't get a swelled head, but you were right about something else, too. I do need to get on with my life. And this time, I won't run away. I'm just calling to apologize. You're right about me, Senator. 
traffic signals. It's not fair. I like being with you. Oh, yeah, um, don't get it swelled dead, but you're right about something else, too. I do need to get on with my life. I don't need no Since you left me, I've been saying that I had to clear some stuff out. Why? Well, I just had to make the place my own again. Well, where did you put our things? Where's our wicker? Where, where's our bedspread? I burned it. You burned our things? Everything we shared together? Well, we weren't sharing them anymore. Oh, I, I see. Sorry if it hurts you, but I've been hurting too. So why'd you come here? Did you change your mind about us? I have made up my mind about us. Not really. I moved out. I moved out because I knew. I know. I know. Call it the thing. It's not working, Trevor. I wasn't happy. Are you happy now? Sometimes. I like seeing my family. I like my job. Excuse me, I'm fired from the house. Sometimes when I'm alone in bed and I, I feel the baby move inside me and think about the place. Baba. The older. I miss her a lot. I miss you too, Tristan. Sometimes it's a relief, you know. Sometimes it's great just being alone. What do you mean? I mean, you're not the only one who was unhappy. I like the way things were out here. I, I never wanted to move into town. I, ne I didn't want to work at AE. I feel like every step we took away from this place was a step away from each other. Well, what do you want? I, I mean, now. I'm not sure. I do know one thing. What's that? I want to be a good father. I love my baby. I'm going to... I'm going to be a big part of his life. His? Or hers. What do you feel about me? Do we have to figure everything out today? No. I, I should get going. I, um, I got a box of yours. Some photos and stuff. Put it in your car. Trisha, I'm I'm glad you came by. We'll talk again soon, okay? on your trunk is sticking if you'd like I could I'm not put... very happy about this well, I'm, I'm, I miss the days when I could make you happy I didn't do this to hurt you I did it because I had to
Hey, I was just thinking about you. What do you think? Now that's a work of art. So what brings you around here? Ah, I'm just getting my AU paycheck. Well, I wish my paycheck made me as happy as you look. I'm smiling because I'm back in business. Yeah, I heard about the blackout. Uh, Ooh, awful. So how, how'd you pay your electric bill? <sighs> Mr. Tall, dark, and mechanically inclined. Trucker. I told him not to do it, but he went behind my back and did it anyway. The dirty rat. Yeah, he's really something. Now, this wouldn't be the same trucker that you never wanted to see again and never cared about in the first place. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I really think that, that there's something wonderful for me in trucker. I mean, before, I didn't really think he cared about me, but now I know he does. See, we had this huge fight. Well, that's always a good sign. No, no, listen to me. I yelled at him, and, and I told him he had to get on with his life. Well, I thought it was over, but, but then he called me, and, and he told me I was right. See, he's moving on. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I guess it would depend on your perspective. Well, from where I'm standing, it's looking pretty darn good. I have to be honest with you, Donnelly. I hope that Trucker and Trisha get back together. Separation's a volatile thing. Feelings change from one day to the next. Yeah, well, today Trucker wants me, so quit raining on my parade, okay? okay. I, just, I just think you should take it easy. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Friday is only bowling, so bring your students, okay? All right. Bye. So how are you holding up? I'm fine. I found this photograph of Grandfather, and I... I know that the art department helps in the celebration of the Founder's Day, so, uh... I thought you might be able to use it. I'm sure we can. Well, I'll hold on to it until you need it. Okay, in the meantime, sit down and talk to me like a real person. I went to see Trucker today at the cabin. It was like we were total strangers. You know what he did? He burned everything. I couldn't believe it. I just stood there. I wanted him back. Or maybe I wanted him to want me back. Well, that, that's a start, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know, Gip, but I've got to do something or he's going to end up with Donna Lee. Well, going to see him today was something. I'm sure that that meant a lot to him. He wouldn't commit to anything. <laughs> Except his love for the baby. But he did say that he'd wanted to talk again. Well, that sounds like progress to me. So I should get ready for round two? Yes, just don't put on the gloves. Remember, there's a big, big difference between fighting and fighting for your marriage. I don't know how to do that anymore. Well, when all else fails, I try to be nice. What does Trucker like to do? Bowl, fix cars. <laughs> yeah, what else? If he really just likes to stay home. Well, there you go. How about a nice quiet dinner at home? I could do that. Could? Come on, girl. Seize the day. Yeah. You're right. I'll do it. It's, um, it's a very good question. These are branches, and it's green, and I kind of thought maybe it looked like a, uh... Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Do you like it? It's, it's beautiful, yes. But it, it's just a friendship tree, right? Right. right. Yeah. No, it doesn't mean anything. Um, I can't stay. I got some errands I got to run with. Oh. I'll, I'll see you later, though. Okay. Huh? Hey, you. Yeah. Sure. Oh, Soames. Yes, madam. Tri 
Trish has invited Trucker out to the bogs for dinner tonight. I see. I think this is what you might do. Call Trisha and tell her that I'm not really feeling up to par and that I'm going to be confined to my room as a... I'd dearly love to have her come and spend the evening with me. Very good, madam. I just hope it works. I don't want her to get drawn back into an, an unfaithful husband. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Isabel, did I hear you correctly? Well, oh, Stacy, dear, it's not like you to, to eavesdrop. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm just so surprised. Isabel, it's not like you to intrude on a marriage. This marriage is hurting my granddaughter. But shouldn't we give Trisha and Trucker a chance to work things out for themselves? I don't think they can do that. Isabel, of course they're having problems, but... If they're trying to solve them, shouldn't we support them? I support Trisha's happiness. Loving Trucker is what made her happy. Maybe they could find that again. I don't believe the happiness lies in this marriage with Trucker. Well, I'm sorry that you don't. Mm -mm. You can't help her by deceiving her. She'd hate that. Well, this is not deception. This is loyalty. I mean, we're a family. We should protect each other. When one of us is in difficulty, well, then the others rally round. The trucker is not the enemy. He's her husband. He is the father of her child. And doesn't this child deserve to have two parents? Oh. I suppose you think I'm being overprotective because Trisha's pregnant. Isabel, I know your support means a lot to her. But just please, give Trisha a chance to work her marriage out. Oh, I do hope she can. So do I. Thank you for keeping me from doing something foolish. Oh, well, it is hard to just watch and not do anything, oh, isn't it? it is, it is. <laughs> well, on that note, I'm going to go upstairs and finish some writing. Thanks for listening. Oh. Soames. <clears throat> Soames, did you make that call to Tricia? Ah, good. I've had second thoughts about asking her to come tonight. No, 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 never mind. I'll call her myself. She does need help. <laughs> she just doesn't know how much. Nana, I, um, I don't think I'll be able to come over this evening. Oh, dear. I am disappointed that you have plans. Yes, for dinner. Is it with Trucker? Yes. Uh, may I come visit in the morning? Well, why don't you make it a short dinner and I'll wait up for you here tonight? Oh, well, I, th I think it's going to be a late evening. I, Nana, I, I really need to work this out myself. All right. I'll try to understand. Thanks. Sweet dreams. must be down again, Adam. And so, well, I suppose I should go myself. Oh, I can't. Of course not. It's been so many years. It's quite understandable. But it is inconvenient, no. <laughs> yes, it is. Soames, good evening. Ah, oh, good evening, Grandmother. Oh, Jack, mm. I need you. Well, sure, what can I do? I just got a call from London about a sale of a piece of art from the collection. The dealer keeps calling the bogs and getting a busy signal. So I told him that I would have her call him as soon as I could get in touch with her. Well, what would you like me to do? I'd like you to be a darling and deliver the message. Well, is it really that urgent? I mean, it is 2 a.m. in London. Well, sale takes place first thing in the morning. But is this a problem? Well, I had planned on spending the evening with... Stacy and the kids. By the time I go out and come back, they'll be in bed. I have an idea. An adventure. Get the limo, pile everybody in the back, turn on the TV, and watch TV and eat popcorn on the way. Well, it's an idea. I'll run it by Stacy. I'll be back. Hey, 
Oh, are. there they are. Well, good evening. Hi, good Heather. Good evening. Hi, Heather. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. Change of plans, Stacy. What? Guess what, kids? We're going on an adventure. Going to ride in Grandma's limo. Where are we going? I'll uh, help Helen get the popcorn started. Where are we going? Out to the tides and back. Isabel says a London art dealer needs to get in touch with Tricia. The uh -huh. phone's out and she needs to call him back. Won't this be fun? Now, who wants to help Grandma make popcorn? Jack, we are not going. What? There is no art dealer. Isabel is trying to keep Tricia from seeing Trucker, and we are not going to help her do that. Thanks, Helen. I'll be right there. Now, what do you mean Isabel's trying to keep Trucker away from Tricia? Tricia has invited Trucker to have dinner with her tonight at the Tides, the Bogs. I overheard Isabel telling Soames that she wants to do everything she could to stop her from keeping that date. Well, I thought you'd already gone. I have. Excuse me. <laughs> Grandmother, I... I don't feel right about this. Oh? I mean, Tricia has other plans. We'd be intruding. <laughs> Just by delivering a message? Well, I'm sure you can handle a phone call to the art dealer yourself. Oh, I wouldn't presume to make a business decision for her. <sighs> Look, Tricia has other matters to attend to. And they're just as important as her career. Now, we'll be down in the library watching TV. Why don't you come join us? Shall I bring the limousine around, madam? They refuse to go. I guess it's time I faced my memories. Uh, bring the small car. I'll drive out to the bogs myself. Thanks for coming. Thanks for asking me. Dinner will be ready soon. You getting along okay out here? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. Oh, thanks again for salvaging this. Yeah, it looks good there. Yeah, it really looks at home, doesn't it? I think of Grandfather a lot here. I guess it's hard not to. I like it. I realize there are sides of him I never knew. I guess that's true of you, too. That you don't know me? Yeah, maybe. Sometimes I don't know me. Grandmother says we all come into our own, I mean, if we're willing. Oh, Trucker, why can't we go through our changes together? Because you want her to go it alone. That was your choice. I know it seemed that way. No, that's, that's how it was. I was in your way. You got your job, and I, I got involved with GIF, you know, working in, in the art world a little bit, and I thought maybe we'd have that together, but that was your turf. I never said that. No, no, no. What, what you said was that I, I couldn't understand art. You did your little put-down smile, you know, about about me fitting into that crowd. I, guess I may I not say much, but I get the message, Trisha. Trucker, I guess I needed something of my own. And you got it. So, now what? Do you want to be with me? Why am I here? Well, we could try communicating again, I mean, on some level. Okay. You said that I run away whenever the going gets rough. You may have a point. Well, think about all your trips to New York. That was business. All right, fine. <sighs> all right. Maybe it was wrong. It's history. I mean, did you come here to rub my nose in that? I've just got a pretty clear idea of what's been going on, that's all. What's been going on can change. People can change. Can they? Trucker, I've never heard you talk like this before. Well, you do a lot of thinking when you're all alone. How alone? Very. Alone to me means I'm not sharing my bed every night. And neither am I. Really? You know, you walk in here with this attitude and these accusations, and, and I don't think I'd be hearing this if you hadn't been talking to somebody named Dinah Lee Mayberry. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, are you saying that I don't have what it takes to form my own opinion? I don't know. Maybe she says what you want to hear. Maybe you just like the way she says it. This is communicating? Get your head straight, Trisha. Who's running out this time?
Read the sign, no visitors. Me. Especially not you. It's kind of moody, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if you don't mind. All right, all right. She's trying to get rid of me. Bingo, two points. Trucker. I'm on vacation. That means that right now I'm nobody's professor, art consultant, sculptor, confidant, or parent. So if you've got a problem, don't come to me, okay? What's up, man? It sounds like you're the one that has a problem. Yeah, you. How do I get myself into the middle of this mess? Huh? Into the middle of what mess? You and half of the women in this town. Dinah Lee comes to me overjoyed. I'm delighted for her. Then Trisha walks in upset. I play guidance counselor. Gwyneth wants your head on a stick. I run all over town trying to stop her. I'm sick of it. I want to get to know Gwyneth. I don't want to debate moral issues. Listen, I, you should get to know Gwyneth then. Nobody's. I'm not asking you to. Yeah, but it happened anything. anyway. And, and if you'd asked me, I should have said no. What's in it for me, trucker? I don't know, but if, if you don't want to get involved, if you shouldn't get involved. Don't be involved. Like it's simple. It's not simple. Trisha and Dinah Lee happen to be my friends. And you're messing up both of them. I'm messing up both. Listen, I don't need this, man. I got enough problems of my own. Yeah, I know. I know all about all of them in intimate detail. Yeah, that's a real nice gift. And you should also know that I'm trying to work things out with Trisha. Did she mention that? Did she tell you that we can't even say hello without fighting? She's carrying your baby. I wasn't the one who left. Okay. But she's not exactly filing for divorce. I mean, she, she invited you over for dinner last night, right? Okay, and then she tells me that Dinah Lee is doing my thinking for me. That was dinner. Dinah Lee is getting mixed signals. No, no, no. I, I've been straight with her. I mean, it, it's over. I've told her that. She knows it. Uh huh. But you pay her bills and you bought her a Christmas tree. What's that? I'm her friend. I'm just trying to help her out. Trucker, you're leading her on. And she's not just a friend. She's in love with you. There I go again, playing monkey in the middle. Hey, did I leave a red scarf right here? I'm sure it's someplace. No. Listen, guys, I'd love to hang with you, but I've got some work to do. I'm gonna go for coffee. When I get back, I want this place empty. It's kind of in a bad mood. Well, so was I till I walked in here. I got your message. Message? Yeah, you know, I'm ready to get on with my life. Oh, and by the way, you're welcome. For the blanket. Oh, Ray. So what are you doing later on? Uh, I don't know yet. <clears throat> well, I've got a couple ideas if you want to hear them. What's wrong? Listen, my life's a mess. So we'll get you a maid. I've been unfair to you. Trucker, how many times do I have to tell you? I take care of myself. Well, don't do that. What am I doing? Exactly what I've been doing, pretending that this isn't a big deal. Come on, let's be honest for a change. Okay. So who goes first? I'm married. And my wife is pregnant. I know. I can't keep lying to her. I'm not asking you to. I've got a lot at stake here. And so do you. You want security with a rich man who's going to give you everything Don't tell you me what wanted. I want. Am I wrong? All right, look, you want honesty. I'm in love with you. Do you love me? I care about you. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, yeah? Yeah, why don't we go for some coffee or something? You know, uh, I could use a cup of coffee. <laughs> Under one condition. We don't talk about your daughter's marriage. From now on, I'm on one side and one side only. Oh, and whose side is that? Ours. Would 
you just wait? Just wait a second. That kiss was so I wouldn't walk in on the two of them, wasn't it? What? No. Sure, Gifford. You want to believe that's why I kissed you? Believe it. You want to go? Go. 